From massive white whales to ivory gorillas and gators, here are 16 rarely seen albino animals. Most of the animals on our list qualify as albinos, but a few are leucistic. So what's the difference? Albinism is a condition that results from an absence of melanin, or pigmentation that gives humans skin, hair and eyes their colour. It can result in pale eyes that are often pink or red. Leucism is a partial loss of pigmentation that can result in patchy, pale or white coloration of the hair or skin, but not the eyes. The two conditions are often mistaken for one another. In both cases, the white coloration is a detriment to animals in the wild because they can't camouflage themselves within their habitat. As a result, the majority of them won't survive for long. But the conditions can result in some striking appearances, so we're including both types of animals on the list. Number 16. Snowdrop It's hard to imagine penguins without their trademark tuxedos, but Snowdrop was a stark white exception. The albino African penguin was born in England at the Bristol Zoo, where he was unconditionally accepted by his clutchmates. At the time of his birth in 2002, Snowdrop's unique coloration was estimated to be a one in a million occurrence. Although he died in 2004, another albino penguin was hatched in 2019 at the Gdansk Zoo in Poland. Number 15. Albus Bottlenose dolphins are usually a grey colour, but in 2014, a previously unknown albino specimen was spotted in the Mediterranean Sea, swimming between Italy and Croatia. It's thought to be a male, and apparently in good health. Named Albus by marine researchers, he was seen playing with other dolphins in local waters after first being seen near the Italian port city of Ravenna. Scientists say there might only be 20 albino dolphins in the world. Then again, we can't see if Albus's eyes are pink, so he might be leucistic. What do you think? Number 14. White Tadpoles In 2008, amphibian experts got hopped up about discovering an extremely rare batch of albino tadpoles. At least four separate globs of albino spawn were found deposited in a garden pond. While the frog spawn and tadpoles exhibited off-white skin colour and pink eyes, no adult albino frogs were discovered. Sightings of albino frogs, toads and newts are very rare, according to researchers. But multiple instances of albinism in individuals is rarer still. Number 13. Mature Albino Frog since we just told you about some albino tadpoles, here's a specimen that'll give you an idea of what they look like fully grown. This specimen is an African clawed frog, which is found throughout much of the sub-Saharan region. They get that common name from the short claws on their hind feet, which are used for tearing apart food. The amphibians are typically greyish green in colour, but the albino variants are popular as pets. Number 12. Boya Bland the piercing blue eyes of this reptile tells you that it's leucistic and not an albino. The 20-something male beast is named Boya Blan, which translates from Creole as white fog. At around 500 pounds, 227 kilograms, he's among the four big gators that are on display at Florida's Gatorland theme park. Wildlife biologists say that he's one of 20 such animals worldwide. But aside from his pale coloration, Boya Blan is no different than any other alligator. If you want to check out a true albino alligator, stay put, we have a specimen coming up shortly. Number 11, albino turtles. Chinese softshell turtles get their name because of their shells, or carapace. They don't have scales, which are also called scutes. Their shells are pliable and leathery, which enables the reptiles to move about more easily in open water or along the bottoms of muddy lakes. They're also known to have a coloration that is usually brownish green, but four softshell turtles in the UK had no such coloration because they were albino. Experts at the Blue Reef Aquarium in Portsmouth, Hampshire, say the reptiles are up to four years old with shells measuring up to six inches, 15 centimeters. While our sources indicate the turtles are albino, we couldn't tell if they didn't seem to have the characteristic pink eyes. Number 10, Albino Lobster. Around Christmas time in 2011, a fisherman pulled an unusual present from the sea off the coast of Dorset in the UK, an albino lobster. The crustacean was handed over to the Sea Life Centre in Weymouth, where it was christened Santa Claus, and has since become a popular attraction there. This centre was thought to have been around 30 years old at the time. 
That beats the odds for albino animals surviving in the wild. Experts say the chances of finding an albino lobster are around 1 in 100 million. Number 9. Pinky the Dolphin This albino bottlenose dolphin was found in the waters of Lake Calcasieu in Louisiana. She's become a big attraction since first being seen in 2007. So much so that conservationists have requested she not be bothered by tourists. It seems she wasn't left alone by her fellow dolphins though. In 2019, it was reported that the cetacean celebrity was seen swimming with another pink dolphin that may have been her calf. Number 8. White Alligator Gar These animals are often called living fossils because they've changed very little over millions of years. Distinguished by a torpedo-shaped body, they can weigh up to 350 pounds, 159 kilograms, and measure about 10 feet, 3 meters. They're popular with aquariums, and in the private trade, the fish can sell for $40,000 per individual. Even though white variants are often billed as albinos, they're usually leucistic animals. The giveaway is the dark eyes, but they still present an unusual sight, so we're including it. Number 7. Wyarton Willy This albino rodent belongs to a lineage that functions like the Canadian counterpart to Punxsutawney Phil. Wyarton is a community in Ontario where Willie appears every Groundhog Day to give his weather prognostications. He's been at it since the 1980s, although the original passed away in 1999. Since then, the reins have been handed to his successors, all of them albinos. The most recent is Willie the Fourth, who took over in 2017. According to his publicist, Willie is Canada's most famous albino weather forecasting groundhog. Would you agree? Number 6. Claude We've mentioned that when albinism occurs in animals in the wild, they don't often survive for long. Because of that, all known albino gators live in captivity. Claude is no exception. After he was hatched in Florida, he was taken to the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. He was placed into an area nicknamed the Swamp, which he initially shared with another alligator. But Claude's albinism affected his eyesight so badly that he kept bumping into his roommate, which irritated her. That prompted her to bite Claude's foot, which became so infected that he lost a toe. The other alligator was shipped to Florida, so Claude has the swamp to himself now. Number 5. Mocha Dick Moby Dick was a fictional animal created by Herman Melville and was described as a white sperm whale that measured some 90 feet long, 27 meters. Whether it was a true albino isn't known for certain, but it is known that Melville's creation was on a huge sperm whale that was indeed an albino. That marine mammal was known as Mocha Dick and was chronicled during the early 19th century off the coast of Chile near Mocha Island. By some accounts, the beast measured about 70 feet long, 21 meters. Mocha Dick was infamous for being nearly impossible to catch. It was also infamous for attacking the whaling ships that tried to hunt it down. He was normally said to be docile enough to swim alongside vessels, but when attacked, the whale would retaliate so ferociously that its entire body would breach the water. Some sources claim the animal was killed in 1838, but others say he was seen swimming in the Arctic Ocean a decade later. Number 4. Marpia Scar In the Sioux language, that means white cloud. She was a revered female bison who made her home at North Dakota's National Buffalo Museum and Cultural Center. Certified as a true albino American bison, she was allowed to roam freely across hundreds of acres of the museum grounds. Prior to her death in 2016, Native Americans made sacred pilgrimages to receive blessings for her and to offer prayers. In 2007, she gave birth to a white male calf named Dakota Miracle but it's not confirmed if he's a true albino like his mother. Number 3. Albino Cyclops Shark Images of this animal opened a lot of eyes in 2011. Due to its bizarre appearance, many people figured it was yet another Photoshop effort that looked too fake to be real. But it was a real shark pup with albino skin. A fisherman took it from the belly of a pregnant bull shark that was caught in the Gulf of California. After examining it, experts diagnosed the animal with cyclopia, which results in only one eye developing. Less than 50 cases of such an abnormality in sharks have ever been recorded. A lot of people thought this specimen looked a lot like Mike from Monsters, Inc. Can you see it? 
Number two, Migaloo. That's an Aboriginal word which translates as white fella, and it's a good name for this albino humpback whale. Those marine mammals are known for being about as big as a school bus, but Migaloo has a big reputation to go along with its size. He was first spotted in 1991 off of Byron Bay in Queensland, Australia. And most experts concur that this is the only documented albino humpback whale in the world. He's become famous for his annual migrations to Queensland from the cold waters of Antarctica. We've mentioned a few other marine mammals on the list, but Migaloo is such a celebrity cetacean, the government in Queensland has set up a 500 metre, 1600 feet exclusion zone around the big guy. Violating his space will get you a whale of a financial fine. Maybe a better way to keep in touch with Migaloo is to follow him on Twitter, at Migaloo1 and other social media. Number 1. Vanilla Gorilla Snowflake was an extremely rare albino western lowland gorilla. After being captured in Equatorial Guinea, he was taken to the Barcelona Zoo in Spain where he spent the rest of his life. His unique appearance attracted worldwide attention and was a must-see attraction at the zoo. But his albinism produced several health issues, including poor vision. In 2001, he was diagnosed with a rare form of skin cancer that was related to his condition. After isolating himself from other gorillas and exhibiting signs of pain, Snowflake's handlers decided to have him euthanized in 2003. Although Snowflake fathered more than 20 offspring, none of them were albino. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.